Islamabad, the public development spending remained at 188 billion rupees in seven months, which was equal to 27% of the annual allocation, amid the government's resolve to fully utilize the remaining funds before June to propel economic growth. The government has shown the commitment to fully spend 701 billion rupees on development amid the International Monetary Fund's IMF emphasis on ensuring that the development spending remains on track. Unlike past programs, this time the IMF is keen that Pakistan fully utilizes the development budget and also honors its debt servicing commitments. Public Sector Development Program PSDP, expenditures from July through January of the current fiscal year were in line with the historical trends, said Federal Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar on Friday while addressing his first press conference as the planning minister. The minister also hinted at some positive development on the $9.2 billion Mainline I project of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC, hoping that a major breakthrough might be achieved in April. The chairman of China's National Development and Reforms Commission is expected to visit Pakistan in April. The minister said the Pakistan Tariq e Insaf PTI government spent 188 billion rupees on development work in seven months, which was equal to 27% of the annual budget of 701 billion rupees. He said it was the second highest spending trend in the past five years, which affirmed the government's commitment to fully utilize the budget. The 188 rupees billion spending was also higher by 35% or 49 billion rupees as compared to the same period of last fiscal year. A visiting IMF delegation also met with Umar on Friday and discussed the issues related to development spending, pro-poor expenditures under the Benazir Income Support Program BISP, and sustainable development goals. The minister addressed the press conference in order to reply to questions about the government's commitment to development activities amid concerns that the government may not be able to fully utilize the funds due to the shortfall in tax revenues. Parliamentarians and government allies have also complained about the lack of development activities, which are at the center in Pakistan's constituency politics. Umar said he would make sure that the government fully utilized the annual budget of 701 billion rupees. In PTI's first year, the development spending remained at only 562 billion rupees, which was the lowest in four years in absolute terms. It was also the lowest in 29 years in terms of the size of the economy, standing at 1.1% of gross domestic product GDP. From July through January of the current fiscal year, the federal government spent on an average 850 million rupees per day. The ratio has to be increased by more than two and a half times to make sure that average daily spending remains at 3.4 billion rupees to fully utilize the 701 rupees billion budget. The minister said in the first seven months, the Ministry of Planning had already authorized 429 billion rupees for development spending, which showed the government's commitment to fully utilize the funds. After economic activities came to a standstill, Prime Minister Imran Khan directed over two months ago to utilize the development budget. As of November, the federal government had utilized only 87 billion rupees but after Umar became the planning minister, the spending increased by over 100 billion rupees in two months. Similarly, in Punjab the development spending was only 69 billion rupees as of the end of December. Some federal ministers, including Fawad Chaudhry, Minister for Science and Technology, agitated against the low spending, particularly in central and north Punjab. This resulted in increased spending within three weeks and the Punjab government utilized 106 billion rupees by January 17. Umar also spoke about the projects being executed under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC. He said World Bank consultants were reviewing the $9.2 billion MLI project and their report on the project's structure was expected by the second half of current month. Railways Minister Sheikh Rashid Ahmad has categorically stated that survival of Pakistan railways hinged upon the implementation of MLI project. Umar said the development agreement for the Rishakai Special Economic Zone of CPEC had been reached with the Chinese company CRBC. The bidding process for the Dabeji Special Economic Zone has commenced and the groundbreaking was performed at the Alama Iqbal Special Economic Zone Faisalabad last month. 
Planning Secretary Zafar Hassan spoke about the progress on individual projects. He gave details of reconstruction of the Nishtar Road and Manghapur Road, reconstruction of Manghapur Road from Jam Chakro to Banaras and construction of a flyover at Saki Hassan, 5-star, KDA roundabout along Sher Shah Suri Road. Hassan said out of 1,034 ongoing projects, about 171 would be completed by June this year. He said 26,000 acres of additional irrigated land had been added by Kachhai Canal Phase 1 in Sway district of Baluchistan and by June 2020 a further 25,000 acres will be added. Makai Farash Link Canal to supply water for Tharkol, in Sindh, earthwork has been completed and is presently started supply of 20 cusacks and will supply 200 cusacks of water by July 2020. The Havelian Mansara section of KKH Phase 2, Thakad Havelian, was completed and inaugurated by Prime Minister late last year and Sukkar Multan Motorway, 392 km, was opened for traffic in November 2019 after inauguration by the Prime Minister. Both these projects are part of CPEC.